Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract an ISO image using a free software called 7-Zip. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, you want to open your web browser, and you just want to simply type in 7-Zip. Press enter, and then you can go to the downloads page for 7-Zip, and you should see a whole list of different downloads. Now, depending on your system, you want to get the correct download. Now, I'm using a 64-bit Windows system, so I'll just go ahead and download that one. Once you've downloaded the correct one, you can just go to your download section and run the file, and you want to click yes if it asks for permissions, and then you just want to click install, and it should only take a few seconds, and then it, once it says install, you can just close it, and then it should be installed. If you want to confirm, you can go to the start menu and it should show 7-zip file manager at the top. Now, the way to extract the ISO image, you just want to right click it and it should now show a new option saying 7-zip. Now, once you get to this, you just want to go to the side and go to extract files. Now, there is a few options here depending on what you want to do, but in today's tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to extract it. So you click extract files. Now, once you get to this section, you just want to focus primarily on the top two settings. The first one just sets the location and the second one just creates a folder. Now, in this case, it's set to my desktop. So it will basically just create a folder called Windows 10 on my desktop. Now, I've already done this. So I'll just click cancel, but you can just go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it's created this Windows 10 folder on my desktop. And if I open that, you'll see all the files are extracted into this folder. It's that simple. I hope you guys find this tutorial useful. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it in the comment section below. I'll try and answer what I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.